But every time I'm calling, she say she gon' call me back. I told her call me Rocky. She say she not gon' call me that. You say you come with a lot, well, baby, I want. I'ma make you pump like that. Only eat dessert for 24 hours? I think this may be the best day of my entire life. To kick off my day of dessert eating, I started my morning with a cookie dough donut. For lunch, I went with a brownie sundae inside of a churro waffle cone. For dinner, I went and got a sand castle sundae, which is five scoops of ice cream, cookies, whipped cream, gummy bears, and sunglasses all inside of a sand bucket. To complete this challenge, it was time to order one of my favorite desserts of all time, edible arrangements. From the cookies to the pumpkin cheesecake, this was the most perfect ending to a delicious day. I put only order 
chillin', ice cream, chillin', ice cream, chillin', chillin', ice cream, chillin'. I know that my heart can be so cold, but I'm sweet for you, can put me in a cotton. You're the only touch yet to get me melting. He's a favorite, I always gotta pick him. So good, yeah, love's so sweet. Hey, baby, you deserve a treat. Diamonds on my wrist, so he call me ice cream. You could double dip, cause I know you like me. Do you know how to make the fluffiest pancakes that turn out perfect every single time? I'll show you real quick. Separate egg whites from egg yolks. Beat the egg whites with a hand mixer until you get stiff thick. This looks perfect, so it's time to set it aside. Take the bowl with your egg yolks and pour in 220 grams of plain flour, 2.5 deciliter of milk and 1 teaspoon of baking powder. Mix for a minute until all the ingredients are well combined. Lastly, you wanna add the egg whites to the mixture. Fold them in carefully so you still keep all the bubbles and the fluffy texture. When the batter is nice and even, we're ready to bake some pancakes. I'm sure you know how that's done. Pour some of the mixture in a hot pan and wait until it gets brown. Then flip it around and get the other side golden brown too. On the plate it goes. I made a bunch of these because I love them so much. Today we're making delicious homemade Kool-Aid slushies. Start by putting one and a half cups of cold water into a blender. Add one cup of sugar. Add one package of Kool-Aid. I'm using cherry. Add three to four cups of ice cubes. It should look like this. Now blend it up. Oh yes. Fill your glasses. Now it's time for the taste test. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. So good. You may have to stir it sometimes, but it's even better with a tiny spoon. Mmm. Okay, fine. Fine, if you want to make churros, no problem, but understand these are dangerous. Small pan, five tablespoons of butter in, one cup of water, two tablespoons of sugar. Heat on high heat. Make sure it's melted and bring to a boil. Turn off the heat. One teaspoon of vanilla, one teaspoon fine sea salt. One cup all-purpose flour. Stir till thick with three C's. Now let this cool for eight to 10 minutes, brother. Three eggs, one at a time. Egg, mix, egg, I had to switch to a whisk. Egg, mix, and an egg yolk. Mix one more time. Till nice and smooth. Transfer to a piping bag with a star tip. Heavy bottom pot. Fry oil. Filled a little over halfway. It's cinnamon sugar, not that hard. Three quarters of a cup of sugar. One and a half teaspoons of, well, cinnamon. Mix together. Heat to 375. Pipe five to six inch pieces. Snip. It's average churro size, okay? Repeat. Fry four to five minutes. Till golden brown and crispy. Remove from the oil. Add the cinnamon sugar. Toss while still hot. Repeat with the rest. Now these are some good looking churros, but now we're talking. Look at today we're making homemade cotton candy flavored ice cream. In a large bowl, add two cups of heavy whipping cream. Whisk until it forms stiff peaks. And by now, you know how we test this. Nothing comes out. It's good. Fold in one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Add two tablespoons of sugar and half a teaspoon of cotton candy flavoring. Fold in. Now divide it into two different bowls. Add blue food coloring to one. And fold. And pink to this one. Now fill a freezer safe dish, a little bit at a time, different colors. A little bit of blue, and keep alternating. Tap it down, cover with plastic wrap, freeze four to six hours. When your ice cream's frozen, pull it out of the freezer. Scoop it out. Now for the taste test. With what else? Our tiny spoon, of course. Straight to the bay. I'm not, huh? Got me some.
sangre. 